How to burn a DVD using a Mac on the LG Ultra Slim Portable DVD Player Slash Burner. There are different brands of DVD Plus R's. This one is a Maxell brand, but I'll link some additional brands in the description box below. Start by connecting the DVD Player Slash Burner to the computer. First, you need to insert a blank DVD. Then you'll see a pop-up box with different options. Choose open iTunes and then OK. It'll indicate you've inserted a blank DVD. To burn items on the DVD, select the playlist that contains the items you want to burn and choose file burn playlist to disk. And then it says if you haven't created this uh, playlist yet, choose file new playlist, then drag the items from your library to the playlist. To make a playlist in iTunes, you'll go to File, New, Playlist, and then name the playlist. Once the playlist is named, you'll drag the video to the playlist. Or if you want to go to the menu, you can choose Song and Add to Playlist. Then in order to burn, you have to go File and then Burn Playlist to Disk. Please note that the pop-up in iTunes says that data DVDs are only usable in computers with a DVD drive. To burn a saved video file on a Mac without using iTunes, first you insert a blank DVD, you locate the saved video file, go to the menu bar and locate file, then drop down to burn and then choose the video file name. Then you name the disk and then you select burn. So once the DVD is done, you'll see that the center portion going out toward the edge of the disc is a slightly different color than the rest of the disc. This indicates that there is burned content on the disc. So that's it for this tutorial. If you all have any additional questions, please leave a comment below. I'll also leave the link to the actual DVD player, the video of the unboxing of the DVD player, as well as the link to purchase some DVD plus RW discs. Once again, this is Erica Swarthy Daisy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.